Welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's video I'm talking about oral minoxidil one milligram that I've been using for the last 12 months for prolonging my energy phase and regrowing and thickening hair. In today's video I will share with you why I'm deciding to stop it uh, for some time. But before we start out this video has been brought to you by GoFiber. These are hair building fibers you can use to mask any thinning or patchy areas on your scalp to make your hair look thicker and better. So make sure you check out the link in the video description below where you can visit GoFiber, get a free sample of your choice and try them out. See if you like them. So long story short everything went pretty much well with me taking oral minoxidil all the way up to 12 month mark and for all of you guys who have not watched any of my previous updates I am gonna link them down below. So seven month mark was my last update on YouTube you can check it out later and then five months I've been taking my oral minoxidil every day one milligram it was around month 12 when I started experiencing some issues and uh, I want to share with you what those issues were. It was mainly related to the heart and uh, my chest area where I felt pressure, where I felt like weird sensations. Also in my rib cage from, from like here, from, from the side of my rib cage, I, I, I felt some, some pressure from here and then also some pressure here and, and here in my chest area. It lasted maybe 10 to 20 seconds and then it went away and it kept going like on and off maybe once a day, once every every two days, I noticed that sensation. And I just went with it initially for a week or so, but it didn't go away. So I decided to completely stop minoxidil for two weeks. And after like three days already, those side effects were like non-existent. Now, in order to be sure that it was from that, I decided to get back on it for another five days. And I already started experiencing some of those side effects again. And uh, the last one, I decided to stop for another for some time right now I'm a seventh day without it and I'm not having any of these issues once again so with that I tried to prove whether it was really from uh, this medication or whether it was something else but realized that it was uh, this medication everything's fine as far as expi uh, expiry date it's uh, December 2025 so the medication is good now my philosophy with oral minoxidil has always been that I'm gonna give it a try at the least possible efficacious dose that has been established for male pattern baldness that has been studied and is also being prescribed by physicians. So I got that prescription and I tried that one milligram and then my philosophy was to hope that I'm gonna be that hyper responder and I'm gonna just respond really well even to the one milligram without any issues, without any side effects. I was really ready to take any benefit, even the slightest improvement in my hair quality on top of what the finasteride hair loss management protocol was uh, giving me. Unfortunately, things didn't go the ideal way here and uh, we must just accept it and uh, move on to another treatment. Two weeks after I stopped I already started noticing the shedding. Fortunately it wasn't uh, very uh, brutal and I lost some hairs. Uh, that's normal when you start or stop minoxidil. Now I want to share with you my hair situation and describe uh, what changed really between month number seven and month number 12 in terms of you know, how my hair is looking and you will be surprised. Actually my hair is looking slightly worse right now compared to seven months in but it's not what you're thinking it's not because I you know stopped minoxidil right now and you know in the last month I already lost all of my minoxidil gains it's not that it's something else uh, but first let me uh, share with you my seven month situation so as you can see here uh, the seven month mark is really where I think personally that this is my hair looking its best. This is really the best hair condition I had. And right now, five months later, I'm seeing slight deterioration. You can obviously spot that if you compare the, the pictures and videos here uh, one to one, you can notice that there is uh, some, you know, lost 
in thickness, especially the second part of the mid-scalp and crown area. We can notice that the hair is a little bit uh, less thick. And I can also notice it when I'm styling the hair, when I'm combining, combing it, uh, that's when I can notice it too. So it's not that minoxyl stopped working or anything. I don't believe that. It's just what I think could have contributed to my situation looking worse now is number one, seasonal shedding that always occurs around the summertime by the end of August it usually ends and that's something that probably contributed to my hair looking worse also when I try to go on and off with the oral minoxidil in the last uh, four or five weeks experimenting did I get side effects from oral or not so I try to start it and start and stop so that actually came with some additional shedding believe me and during the shower uh, I, I noticed 20 30 hair strands easily which I never notice normally because I try to keep my shedding minimized throughout the year so that also probably contributed to my situation look at, looking the way it looks the DHT blocker I'm using right now is topical finasteride 0.025 percent and i switched to it in october 2022 from oral finasteride that i've been using for three plus years because it's very promising like a side effect optimized version of finasteride if you will that comes with about 50 percent dht suppression in the scalp essentially the same what you get with oral finasteride but less systemic suppression so that's why i switched to it and i think because it's just 0.025 percent i Maybe the absorption was not ideal. It seems like the longer I take just topical finasteride, uh, the more I start seeing like, okay, great, I'm not having any side effects, that's great. But at the same time, I'm not seeing the same degree of hair stabilization uh, compared to, you know, when I used to take the finasteride in the oral form. And in, in February, when you've seen this situation looking really, really good, that was also just five months, four or five months after I stopped taking oral finasteride. And there's also the rundown period after taking finasteride where you may not necessarily experience any loss resulting of stopping finasteride on your hair up to the six month mark after you, you have stopped and then it starts expressing itself negatively of course and because I was on topical finasteride for all that time uh, the loss is not that abrupt after six months you stopped finasteride okay bam you, you lose more hair no you have seen that I'm able to keep the hair it's just slightly looking slightly worse so maybe it's also that and right now I'm gonna do some thinking whether or not to increase uh, the concentration of the 0.025% topical finasteride onto 0.04 or 0.05% because that's usually what does the trick to just increase the concentration because as I say there might be not ideal you know absorption rate if I use that specific finasteride on my scalp or maybe I'm gonna go for a topical finasteride that comes with propylene glycol that is known to be a great penetration enhancer so long story short I'm pretty positive about my hair at this point because I think it's in its worst condition throughout considering it for the whole year and I think it's just gonna get better from here as far as stopping oral minoxidil I'm gonna stop it for some time and while I'm stopping I'm gonna switch to the topical minoxyl with micro needling of course and I do believe that my results will be even even better maybe later on I'm gonna reconsider uh, trying to switch to oral minoxyl again uh, maybe go with a different supplier maybe go with a supplier that is explicitly producing the sublingual version that uh, causes less systemic presence of minoxidil in your system if you take it and also lowers your blood pressure less significantly in the long run uh, so that's something I'm gonna do but right now uh, to just keep my hair at its best possible possible condition I want to take minoxidil at the, with the topical form and as far as topical finasteride whether I'm going to be increasing the topical uh, finasteride concentration or reintroducing some oral finasteride maybe once or twice a week this is something I'm going to still think about and make a totally dedicated uh, topical finasteride uh, video update on that I hope this update gave you what you were looking for I tried to be as honest as possible and not hide anything from you but at the same time let you know that if something is not working for you, if some medication is not 
giving you the efficacy that you're looking for. There's always room for improvement. There is always room to optimize for. So don't lose hope. There is plenty of stuff that you can still try and get some efficacy from other things, other drugs and treatments. So make sure you follow this channel where I'm going to be always about optimizing your hair regrowth, hair loss reversal, and getting your hair back with hair transplantation. These are the topics that we discuss. Make sure you like, subscribe, and check out the link in the video description below where you can learn more about how I can help you out one-on-one -on -one when finding the right hair transplant clinic and doctor, how to not get lost in the information overflow and how to choose the right clinic for your hair type to maximize your hair transplant success and avoid all the pitfalls along the way. Thank you so much for watching everybody and see you soon in another video. Take care.